Hey everyone, Happy New Year to all of you! With 2023, it's time to introduce the first feature update of my Studio One Scoring Tools product. If you don't know Scoring Tools yet, it's my first Studio One add-on for composers, arrangers, producers and sound designers working with Studio One. So if that's interesting for you, make sure to check it out on studioonescripts.com. Version 1.1 adds two new commands and one new filter option for the track tag filter function. The first feature is something you guys have requested a lot. So with this new version you can now export all your markers in your Studio One song as a text sheet with the correct timecode information for each marker. That's useful if you're working on a film or any project where you have marked your hit points or this could also be single songs in a long concert recording. I have added this new menu right here and here you can not only find the create markers from timecode function which is basically a marker import but also the new export markers function. And this will display a text field with the timecodes and the marker titles and you can just copy the text and paste it into a document or email. And this window not only can show you markers but also arranger sections so if you have arranger sections in your song, you can export them as well. Let's come to the second new feature. The connect to menu that you can use to assign your tracks to predefined buses like orchestra, strings, percussion and so on can now also be used to connect a track to a VCA channel. Just like the other command, you can also find this one in the keyboard shortcuts if you enter connect selected channels. And then you see these both commands, connect to bus and connect to VCA. So you could add a keyboard shortcut for them or, which of course makes a lot more sense, create a macro for your often used buses and VCAs. And another new feature is a new option for the track tag function, which I will explain in another video soon, but just briefly. Track tags is a feature exclusively available in scoring tools for Studio One and it allows you to attach tags to tracks like strings or synthesizer or plugged instruments or of course you can use any tag you want and then use these tags to filter your tracks. That's similar to the track name filter but with tags you can search for tags that don't necessarily need to be in the track name. And with this new option, which is called non-exclusive search, you can make sure that all tracks are shown that match the tags you're looking for, but other tracks that are already visible and don't match the tags aren't hidden again. So if you're working on an arrangement and you already have some tracks you use or plan to use, this option will only show tracks but won't hide any already visible tracks. That's also quite useful if you want to combine multiple visibility commands in Studio One and this track tag filter in a macro. And another improvement is that if you have enabled the cursor follows edit position option here in the menu, then the nudge events or nudge notes function will now set the play cursor accordingly. Updating scoring tools is very easy. Let me just show you how that works. In the top right of your Scoring Tools toolbar you see the info button and this button brings you to the website and the website tells you which version of Scoring Tools you are currently using and if there are any new updates available. And the link below brings you to the shop page or to your account where you can download the latest version of Scoring Tools. If you have bought Scoring Tools on Payhip and you got a download link via email you can just reuse this same download link in the email to download the new install file and then just double click or drag the install file into Studio One to update the add-on. Thanks for watching and I wish you a really great start into the new year. See you in the next video.